morning students students we have started our chapter number 3 multiplication today we will do page number 69 yesterday students we learned how to add groups and then convert that one into times today i will tell you how to change that times into multiplication let's start students to count all the mangoes we added 2 4 4 times so there were 8 mangoes in all by adding 2 4 4 times we got 8 4 times 2 4 times 2 means 4 multiplied by 2 here we can use the sign of multiplication on the place of times as we use the sign of addition to add the two numbers similarly we use the sign of multiplication to multiply two digits so 4 multiply by 2 will be equal to 8 to count the wheels of the cards we added 4 4 three times and we got 12 wheels in all So students, three times four means three multiplied by four. Here we can use the sign of multiply on the place of times. Three multiply by four is equal to twelve. Students, to count the legs of all the animals, we added four times four. So we got sixteen legs in all. Four times four means four multiply by four. Here we can use the sign of multiplication at the place of times. So four multiplied by four is equal to sixteen. Dear students, to count all the apples, we added five four six times, and then we got. Thirty. So see here, six times five means six multiply five. Here we can use the sign of multiplication at the place of times, and so we can say six multiplied by five will be equal to thirty. Six into five is equal to thirty. Dear students, we have learned how to make groups and then change it into times and then into multiply. Now we will learn how to multiply will change into times and then into groups. Four multiplied by two is equal to eight. It means we have to add two four four times and it will be eight. Four times. Two. Dear students, see here. Three multiplied by four is equal to twelve. It means three times four. Three times four means four will be added four three times, and it will be twelve. Four multiplied by four is equal to sixteen. It means we have to add the four groups of four and. It will be sixteen. Six multiplied by five is equal to thirty. It means we have to add five four six times, and it will be thirty. Six times five. Students, you will solve these sums at page number sixty-eight and sixty-nine. Okay.